Hey curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and happy new year. We have finally made it through 2020 and all that it had to offer us. Even though 2020 was probably one of the worst years in history everywhere, um, hopefully we have some good news when it comes to our hair growth. It's a small win, but we got to take what we can in 2020. If you are new here, welcome here on Beyond Grenade today. We do a new challenge every year to better the health of our hair. So we are on challenge number five. So if you are new, you might have some catching up to do. You can still do it all this year and you will for sure see the benefits in the health of your hair. So from now on, I'm going to be referring to my channel or maybe like a series within my channel as Curls University because this is where you come to learn about your curls. And every challenge has been a different stage in where you are in your hair growth journey. For example, my very first yearly challenge was the no heat challenge. This is for like my freshmen. The people that still don't really love their curls, I think they look more beautiful or their hair is more acceptable or more manageable if it's straight. So I want you to change that mindset and learn to love your natural hair by not straightening it for one entire year. Some of you, that sounds insane, but it is so worth it. If you watch that video, you will see the results from people not straightening their hair for a year and it's like, boom, mind blow. If you then passed your freshman year here at Curls University and you did not straighten your hair for a whole year, you didn't get any more heat damage, bravo. You then moved on to being a sophomore. And as a sophomore, your challenge was to deep condition those curls once a week. Just by committing a good 20 minutes every single week, you're going to help moisturize those curls and make them look more defined and overall healthier. Then after being a sophomore, you became a junior and did the big chop challenge. This one took guts. This one I asked you to chop off your hair. Those straight straggler pieces that were just weighing everything down. You had super tight curls and then straight pieces. I asked you to cut those off. It just needed to happen and some of you did it and oh, those results were also amazing. And then my seniors, my seniors last year, we then did the hair growth challenge. Because now that I made you chop it all off, I'm sure you wanted to grow it back or at least get some new inches. So in this video, I'm going to show you the amazing results of everyone that committed to growing their hair from January to the end of December so we can see how many inches you obtained in 2020. And now it's time to announce the 2021 challenge, which is called the switch it up challenge. The switch it up challenge is for those of you that get really stuck in your ways, get stuck in your routine. You have a million products, but you use the same three every day. Why? I'm gonna need you to switch it up. Maybe you're someone who says, my hair only likes cream stylers. I'm not gonna use a gel. I don't like mousse. Why? Or maybe you're someone that's like, I love gels, I love strong hold, I need my hair to be as crunchy as possible, I don't do leave-ins, I don't do creams. Okay, that's me. I too need to switch it up. I also am someone that only likes to use one product when styling my hair, but maybe two might make it look better. We're gonna see. So switching it up is gonna be different for each person watching. That might be choosing one styler over another. You might be someone that uses like five products, but maybe you wanna switch it up and get it down to one or two. Maybe you're someone who doesn't read the ingredients. You always use products with sulfate or silicone. Let's switch it up. What if you took this whole year to not use any products that had sulfate or silicone? <gasps> I know a lot of you that follow me already do that, so I don't wanna make that like the only challenge, but that's why I wanna make it as broad as switch it up. I want you to switch up something that you currently do in your routine that you think might better your hair. So now that you know the challenge, it's time to take the curly oath. Now raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, insert name, solemnly swear to start to switch it up with my hair. Right now I think that there's only one styler for me, but trying something new might just be key. Gels, creams, and leave-ins galore. My bathroom looks like a beauty supply store. So I will experiment without any fear. My curls will look so beautiful, everybody will cheer. Boom, 
just like that you have just committed to the switch it up challenge i hope you're excited i want you to switch it up all year long so we can see what really works best for you. I get messages all the time with people saying, you know what, I've never used a gel before, but you made me try it and now my curls look so good or vice versa. You never know unless you try. Except for drugs, don't do that, just don't even try. So, not that I don't believe you or anything, but I am gonna need this in writing. So right now, if you are down to commit to the Switch It Up Challenge, leave me a comment down below, say, I, insert name, promise to commit to the switch it up challenge. And I also wanna know what that means for you. Does that mean using less stylers than you usually do? Does that mean not using oils anymore for moisture? Does that mean trying a leave-in or a cream or a gel? Or does that mean to get rid of silicone? What is your switch it up that you really think might make a substantial difference on your curls this year? I don't know about you, but I'm excited to try new things, new years, new curls, new subscribers. If you're new, it is not too late to join this challenge and also my other challenges. Don't think you could just skip to the senior year. You can't just skip to graduation. You can still go back and join my other challenges. And if you really want the most out of your hair health this year, it's best to commit to all of them. So start off by cutting off those dead ends, committing to deep conditioning your hair every single week. Throw away the straightener or have someone at least hide it. And if you care about the length, try some hair growth things that I did last year. And I promise you, you will be pleasantly surprised at how much your hair can change in one year. So now that we are all committed to the 2021 challenge, let me show you the results of the hair growth challenge from last year. So let's start with my own. I actually was able to join this challenge. So here's how I looked at the beginning of this year. I was pregnant, so my face is also a little bit uh, more full, if you will. But look at my hair now. I have definitely seen some major length. And length is something that we don't always see on our own because we look in the mirror every day so we don't really like see it growing but that's why i wanted you guys to take pictures so here is my before picture january 2020 and here is my after photo wow we are talking some serious inches what is that like three inches the main thing that i think i have to give credit to for my 2020 hair growth challenge that i did was all the curl smith hair growth products i committed to their vitamins i also used their serums their elixirs their boosters and being able to really commit to that all three of them i really saw a difference so if you want to know about all those products i'll link all those videos in the description box but yeah i'm going to continue to take them even this year because i want my hair to get even longer but enough about me. Let's see how you guys did with your hair growth challenge. So without further ado, here are my beautiful curl friends and their new length. Wow, you guys really did that. Do you see what happens when we commit to something? It's so easy to like have all these New Year's resolutions at the beginning of the year and we get really motivated like January 1st to January 7th and then we fall off. But if you commit to these challenges and you leave a comment so it's in writing, so it's like almost legally binding and you have other curl friends cheering you on, it's just so much more motivating to see your results at the end of the year. So here at Curls University, we always have open enrollment. No matter what stage you are at in your curly hair journey, it's never, never too late to start loving your curls, learning how to take care of them so you can feel comfortable in your own natural hair.
So not only am I going to switch it up with my curly hair routine, with my products, I'm also gonna switch it up a little bit here on my channel. I personally believe I have more to offer than just curly hair videos. So I want to switch it up with my topics and give you guys even more videos, okay? This is the goal. So let's, let's hope I can do this, but let me know what you guys wanna see from me this year. Do you wanna see fashion videos, hauls, vlogs, skincare, makeup? Let me know so we can add some more fun content to my channel. If you enjoy my challenge videos, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that little bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video, and make sure to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. That way you're always the first to know what I'm trying next. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.